everybody so this video is going to be um kind of like an update video slash um i wanted to talk to you guys about the whole like single parenting thing um so that's what this is gonna be um uh, basically i have been gone for ever um well not ever but i mean i haven't made a video because i just had a lot of stuff going on um me and Jane Marie just had to make a trip back to Lexington, Kentucky. Um, that's where I'm from, is I'm from Lexington, Kentucky. Um, however, my dad and my sister moved up here to North Carolina, um, Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm like, my dad's been here for like 10 years. My sister moved here uh, maybe three years ago, four years ago. Um, and so I moved back out of here pretty much to just be with my family. Um, however, I still make trips back down to Lysing to Kentucky um, for January to get some time to spend with her dad. Um, so I've been dealing with that. I've been um, working to get myself back into school. Um, I've had to look at daycares and stuff like that. I've been trying to find like her doctor up here. Um, plus just being a full-time single parent. So really I haven't had much time. Um, Jane Marie's taking a nap right now so I'm going to go ahead and make this video. Um, so I kind of wanted to tell you guys about that. Um, things are really settling down now, so hopefully I'll be able to start back making more videos. Um, thank you guys for everybody that's watched, like, my day in the life video and everything like that. Um, really appreciate it. I kind of had fun making it. It's my first time making, like, a video, obviously, that long. And it was my first time editing a video. So, I'm glad you guys liked it. Um, I want to do one of those again. Um, once, like, my routine changes and she's in daycare and stuff like that, I kind of want to do, like, a day in the life of, like, a working single parent. Um, so, I'll be doing that once things calm down even more. Um, so, about the whole single parenting thing, um, without letting you guys, like, too much into my personal life, um, I kind of wanted to explain a little bit what my situation is. Um... But I kind of only want to explain the things that I think would be, like, beneficial to you guys that might be able to help somebody out there. Um, so, basically my situation is, um, Jay Marie and, um, her father and I, we weren't really together before I found out I was pregnant. Um, we were kind of just talking and then I found out I was pregnant. Um, and then we kind of decided we were going to be together. Um, we were together throughout the whole entire pregnancy, and, um, we were together for, like, her first month, um, that she was born, and, um, it just really didn't work out between us, um, so I decided to make the move, um, up here to Charlotte, North Carolina, so that I could be, um, with my family and have some support around me and hopefully, um, be able to start doing some things like school and stuff, um, to uh, better myself for her, and uh, that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, I uh, really, it's hard. Um, I want to start off telling you guys that is hard being a single parent. It's hard, it's not fun, um, but in my situation, it's completely necessary, and I'm much happier being a single parent. Um, then, you know, like being in a relationship that I'm not happy in. So I think that's important too. Um, I kind of felt like guilty in the very beginning about like, um, not, it's not being a family and stuff like that, but I just have to keep reminding myself. And if you're kind of in a situation like, you know, you're not happy in your relationship, but you guys are getting ready to have a baby, just kind of remind yourself that. If you're not happy and if you're not taking care of yourself, how are you going to be able to take care of your child, you know? So that was kind of my mindset. A lot of people told me that when I was kind of um, figuring out what it is that I wanted to do with my situation. So um, that was really helpful to, like, care from people, you know, and that was kind of my motivation is that if I'm not happy, how am I going to be able to make her happy, you know what I mean? So, um... So, yeah, it's not, it hasn't been fun by any means. It's been really super hard. Um, but I think the number one tip that, especially if you're, if you're pregnant and you know that you're going to be by yourself or, you know, if you're just now finding yourself in a situation that you're going to have to kind of do the single parent thing, I think one of the most important things to remember is not only accepting help when people offer it to you, but going out there and asking for help. Because 
if I, that's something that I've really struggled with just because I've kind of gotten in like single mom mode and I feel like I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this. But really it's not that way. I have, you know, people that want to help me with her, want to support me with her, want to watch her for me when I need to get stuff done. And I need to learn to kind of like accept help and not only accept but ask for help um, instead of feeling like I have to do it all by myself because really you don't. And if you do it, try and do it all by yourself, you're not going to get it done the way that you need to get it done pretty much. So... I think that's really important for people to know. Um, i trying to think what else I kind of wanted to say about this. Um, her father is in her life to the extent that um, I bring her up there every month. I bring her up there every month. Mind you, I've only been in Charlotte for like three months. Yeah, for three months now. Um, but I do bring her up there every month, and um, she spends the weekend with him. Um... But once he starts to get his stuff more together and um, is helping me out with her financially and doing what it is that he needs to do to actually be a parent, um, I think he's going to get her a week every month and we'll meet halfway. So it's like a three and a half hour drive. Um, and we'll meet halfway and do that and kind of see how that works. Um, so that's kind of the part that sucks about it is the whole traveling thing and stuff like that. But again, I'm so much happier here. She's happier here. I'm getting done what it is that I need to do to be able to take care of her better. So um, this is where I need to be pretty much. Um, so I don't know. I guess if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, I'll definitely answer them if they're not too personal. Um, yeah. So... And I also, I want to do more videos about, like, um, how to do things, like, when you're a single parent. Like, I don't know, like, how you, like, oh my gosh, when the hardest thing in the very beginning was, like, going anywhere. Like, going grocery shopping was, like, I did not know how to, like, deal with me plus her plus my bag plus her bag plus groceries plus all that stuff. So I have, like, tons of, like, cute little tips and tricks and stuff like that um, that I wanted to tell you guys. So, um start looking for videos on that um once I kind of get like my ideas work together um I'll make a video on that uh January's four months now she'll be five months on the 27th um she actually has a doctor's appointment tomorrow um and after that we're gonna start rice cereal um she's still only drinking four ounces which I think is kind of weird um if any of you guys have four month olds or whatever if you guys could let me know how much they're drinking I think it's so weird that she only drinks four ounces still um, and she really doesn't want more than that. Sometimes in the night time, she'll drink, like, maybe five, five and a half. Um, so, yeah, but, I mean, she's gaining weight. She's, I mean, she's huge, like, um, so we'll start rice cereal probably this weekend. Um, I'll probably make a video on that. And then, um, I think when she's, like, five and a half months old, I'm going to start on actual, like, baby food. And I'm researching and looking around and trying to figure out what, like, machine I want to use and, and how to do it and if making it by myself is something that I really want to do and, and like I have the time to invest in um so I'm gonna be making videos on that too trying to decide what it is that I'm going to use if I'm going to make it by myself but I really do think that it's important for me to be able to figure it out I need to find the time to make her own baby food because at the end of the day it's gonna save me a whole bunch of money not only like not even to mention that it's um a lot healthier for her so you guys be looking out for that. Um, I'm hoping to make another video. I need to make an update video on her. I'll probably be grabbing some clips within the next couple of days. Um, so maybe in like three days I'll have um, her next update video. Okay, thanks. Bye.